Good morning, traders. Well, with uh, June's FOMC meeting still up in the air as far as markets are pricing, um, UK inf uh, next decision out of the Bank of England is also up in the air. This, this week's data will go some way, I think, to uh, settling the market's mind on that. We've also got uh, the RBNZ coming out with a rate hike, which should keep things interesting. So we'll start with the US. Uh, I think the main risk event out of the US is the, is the core PCE reading on Friday. Um, with recent Fed commentary being pretty hawkish, that's, that's looking to remain elevated as well. Uh, the, the activity backdrop continues to soften somewhat with the recession fears, but um, you'd think a high reading here will give the Fed little excuse uh, not to hike in June. Currently, the market's pricing in around a 15% chance of that, so the risks are definitely to the upside of um, a more hawkish pricing in that uh, possibility. UK. CPI is expected to moderate uh, down to 8.2% from that kind of eye-watering 10% level. Um, still very high as far as the Bank of England's concerned. This, is, uh, this, this one, there'll be one more CPI figure before their next meeting, but um, with markets currently pricing in about 82% chance of a hike uh, at their next meeting, um, you'd think that these CPI figures will be pivotal in, in what actually happens there. The RBNZ uh, is set to hike. Now, the markets are split on 25 or 50. This is on Wednesday. Um, last, in April's meeting, they, they surprised with a 50. Uh, the 25, you'd think, it would be seen as, as, as a little bit dovish. It's, the markets are favouring that by a 57% chance of a, of a 25, 43 of a, of a 50. Uh, I think the chart to watch in this one is the Aussie Kiwi. We're, we're sub 106 at the moment where we're seen as being a pretty good buy point recently. Um, mean reversion traders could see a 25 or that dovish hike, um, see a good chance of entering at these levels. Um, if, if we do get the supersized 50, then probably we'll dribble down. There'll be some more limited, in my opinion, downside on that pair. And on top of all this too, we've got the um, ongoing uh, debt ceiling impasse where both sides seem to be playing a bit of brinkmanship. Uh, I've got a feeling this is gonna go right down to the wire. The, um, I think the risk appetite in the markets will be dampened until this is settled. So that would favor the Swiss franc, Japanese yen, and US dollar as haven currencies. Gold at the moment's lost a little bit of its luster as a haven, as a haven asset, but um, that could certainly change if we see some real distress in the market.